Mr. Tajani, what do you think about the political situation in Macedonia and what do you think about the upcoming elections? Should we postpone it or should we have the elections on 24th of... But in this area, we need stability because the, there are two dangers, immigration and terrorism. For this, I think it's important to have a new government for the next years. For this, I think it is better to vote in April 24th. Of course, it's important. Transparency, democracy, level playing field for different parties, but there is a socialist minister for home affairs. This is, in my opinion, the right problem for the new election in this country, because we need stability. And then your, your country's candidate as member for NATO, as candidate as member of the uh, full member of the European Union. For this is important to, to work with the new government in the next month and the next years. What do you think? Are we close to be to become a part of the European Union uh, and NATO finally, like we should to be a member, full member? I think this is important for for your country for growth for the internal market, for your economy, but also for Europe, for Europe is important to have more friends and more people in the Balkans. Macedonia is a very, very important country. It's important to work in the next months, in the next year. It's important to respect the Copenhagen criteria. But you, you are working, you are working well. I am optimistic for the future, but it's important to, to implement your, your work, uh, democracy, transparency, freedom, uh, no corruption, but I, I, you, you are working very well in my opinion. What about the economical situation in Macedonia? How are we doing in that field? Are we doing okay? But the economic situation is everywhere very complicated, but Macedonia is growing, in my opinion, well, much better than other countries in Europe, for example. The, the, the most important problem is young people unemployment. The situation today is much better than one or two, two or three years ago. But I think it's important to work in this direction. More jobs for young people, for this is for, for Macedonia, it's important to have more European investments, more European companies. I think it's important this free tax area for companies coming from abroad. This is a good message. Uh, I think in many sectors it's possible to, to, to increase the number of company, European companies working here. This is the future. More European companies, also, also more American companies. There are in your country American companies, but I think if you want to, 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 to beat the crisis, uh, to, to have more jobs for, for young people, we need more investments. Uh, you are, in the, you are in the right way. Yeah, that's great to hear. Uh, but uh, do you think that the political situation and instability now is uh, one of the issues uh, to slow us down from the foreign investments? and? Yes, much course. more growing of the uh, government. Exactly, exactly. Stability is crucial for new investment. For this, I, I, I think it is better for, for your country uh, to vote uh, in April. Uh, it's a good solution. Then the winner uh, uh, will be the, 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 the prime minister, but it's important uh, to vote because this, this situation is, is, is complicated. Mm -hmm. It's not a good message uh, to the investors. Uh, um, also, against uh, illegal immigration, against uh, terrorism, much better stability. How are we doing in that field about the illegal immigration and this big crisis that all the Europe is facing uh, the few months, um, years before? But immigration is the one of the most important problems for Europe. Terrorism, immigration, economic crisis, three points. But there is a link between these, these three points without solutions. Terrorism and immigration, it's impossible to have more 
investments, not only in your country, but everywhere. Uh, everywhere. The, the, the key point is Syria. We need a solution in Syria. We need to stop ISIS. We need to kill ISIS through a coalition, an agreement between, in my opinion, European Union, USA, Russia, but also we need an agreement with Saudi Arabia and Iran. We need an engagement against terrorism of these two most important countries. If after a good solution, it's possible also to reduce the number of people coming from this region uh, to, to, to Europe. The uh, Balkan the, way. Uh, exactly, the Balkan way, but also there is another way, yeah, the, the Libya way. There are two doors, very dangerous for us, the Balkan way and, and the Libya way. Mm, we need to work all together. In my opinion, this is the, the most important priority for the European Union, and also for, for the, 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 the the state candidate as a member of the European Union. There is a cooperation in your border uh, with G Greece. The, the, there are uh, policemen coming from European countries. This is a good message uh, for you. But this is the message of solidarity. Europe is not only Euro, it's not only banks, it's also solidarity. They say that we are becoming the door of Europe. Even in Greece, politicians say that Macedonia is the true door in, in Europe uh, when we are speaking about uh, all these immigrations and uh, refugees that are coming through our way now. Uh, are we having that uh, big role? Uh, are we having a good role uh, in dealing with this illegal immigration? I think it is very important to work of course, uh, in Syria, but also in Europe. Uh, For the ones that are already... We, yes, yeah. but, but, but we, we need to work uh, much better, with more solidarity. Immigration is an European problem, not a national problem. Because they, they want to, to go, these people coming from Syria, from Afghanistan, from Pakistan, they want to go to the north and not to the south of the European Union or the, the, the south of Europe. The, the, the goal is not Macedonia or uh, Greece. They want to go to Germany, to Sweden. But this is important, more solidarity. We need an European strategy. We need to strengthen the external boards of the European Union. And we need the cooperation also with the country as Macedonia, with the country's candidate as a member of the European Union. It's possible to do more. It's possible. We need to invest much more in camps in uh, Jordan, in Lebanon, in Egypt, in Turkey. Yeah, of course, exactly, exactly. It's important to stop in these countries, the migrants. And then it's possible to, to go back to, 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 the, to, to Syria after the end of the war. The, 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 the agreement two days ago is a good message, it's the first step for the peace, but we need to work sure. a lot in the next month. But first of all, we need to stop the terrorism, we need to stop also the, 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 this strategy for foreign fighters also. That there are foreign fighters also coming from Balkans. Yeah. This is important to stop this through the cooperation between intelligence, uh, between uh, police. Uh, this, is, I think, is one of the most important points. We need to reduce the number of foreign fighters coming from Europe, but coming also from Balkans. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, that you find time in your busy schedule for television. Thank you for your hospitality.